Prepare the hose using Procedure 1100, General Preparation Instructions. Determine the number of pinch-on clamps required for each end of the assembly. The guideline for this is as follows. For symmetrical shanks, or fittings having all serrations the same size, 3 8 inch and below, one clamp. For symmetrical shanks 1 half inch to 1 inch, use two clamps. For shanks having large or pronounced serrations, one clamp per serration. Measure the hose outside diameter. Using the current Dixon price list, select the clamp that has a nominal size closest to the hose OD just measured. For single ear, single clamp installations, as shown here, place a mark on the hose that corresponds with the point of the last serration. Insert the fitting fully into the hose. Slide the clamp over the fitting shank. Position the clamp. In this case, the correct position is midway between the mark on the hose and the hose end. Using a pinch-on clamp tool, grab the indents on both sides of the ear, make sure the clamp is in position, then squeeze the tool. Pinch the clamp ear as tight as possible without damaging the clamp. The indents on both sides of the clamp ear may or may not touch. If the clamp is visibly embedded into the hose, the installation was successful. For double ear clamps, repeat the insertion and positioning process as for single ear clamps. Pinch one ear fully closed. Grab the second ear and pinch it fully closed. It is not uncommon for the first ear to slightly open up while the second ear is being pinched. For double ear clamps, repeat the insertion and positioning process as for single ear clamps. Pinch one ear fully closed, grab the second ear and pinch it fully closed. It is not uncommon for the first ear to slightly open up while the second ear is being pinched. For two clamp installations on symmetrical shanks, position both clamps over the fitting shank. Install the clamp closest to the mark on the hose, positioning the clamp just inside the mark. Placing the second clamp ear on the opposite side of the one just installed, position the clamp midway between the installed clamp and the hose end. Pinch the ear closed. For pronounced serration shanks, place a mark on the hose that corresponds with the point of each serration. In this case, two serrations, two marks. With the clamps already on the hose, fully insert the fitting. Slide both clamps over the shank. Install the clamp furthest away from the hose end, positioning the clamp just inside the mark. With the clamp ear on the opposite side of the one just installed, position the clamp just inside the mark closest to the hose end. Install the clamp. For fittings with a single pronounced serration, place a mark on the hose that corresponds with the point of the serration. With the clamp on the hose, insert the fitting. Slide the clamp over the shank. Position the clamp just inside the mark on the hose and install it. Note 1. For multiple clamp installations, whether using single ear clamps or double ear clamps, do not line up the ears. Note 2. When using double ear clamps, if both ears fully close, the clamp is too large. Remove the clamp and install the next smaller clamp. 3. The selected clamp or clamps must be able to slide over the hose and into position after the fitting has been inserted. This is especially important when using fittings with pronounced serrations. Test the assembly using Procedure 4000, General Hydrostatic Testing Information, and Procedure 4001, Hydrostatic Testing. Dixon the right connection.